Hi again, everybody. Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I just want to show you a, a simple little example of how you can make a kiosk presentation more useful for the people who are going to be consuming it. So real quick point here, if you go to the slideshow tab at the top of the screen and you click on to set up slideshow, you'll see that one of the areas in here is to describe a presentation as being browsed in a kiosk, being in full screen mode. You'll see that it says down here that we could theoretically loop the presentation until somebody escapes from it. And the idea here is that very often, um, instead of a presentation that somebody is actually going to stand in front of and deliver information from, this is just an informational slide deck that will continuously loop on a screen somewhere at a conference or um, in a waiting room someplace so that people will continually see what's useful and relevant to them and they'll be able to wait until it comes back around to be able to consume more information. Now, if you're going to do this, if you're going to say that it is looped continuously until you escape from it, if you're going to say that it's at a kiosk and it's going to go full screen mode, notice they're looping continuously, then the question becomes, okay, if we are going to use the timings to go from one slide to the next instead of somebody clicking, and that's the basic concept here, right? You don't want to force somebody to say, go to the next slide, go to the next slide. Instead, you want this presentation to be continuously streaming. Well, then you need timing. And you can see here that if you go to the transitions tab at the top of the screen, in the top right hand corner, right now, every slide I have says that it's going to advance after a mouse click, or most of them at least do. On slide number two, you'll see that only takes a quarter of a second, but then we're right back to on mouse click, on mouse click, on mouse click. And that's because this presentation is supposed to be delivered as something that I speak in front of, and I only want to push forward when it's the time to do so. However, if I were turning this into a kiosk presentation, here's what I would do. I would go to somebody who hasn't seen the information a lot already. Somebody who's not necessarily in my department, not necessarily working on this project with me, and I would give them the presentation and take them to the slideshow tab. Notice that on the slideshow tab, there is this option here that says you can rehearse the timings. Now, I think the initial idea with this was that the presenter of the information would deliver their presentation in their office or something along those lines and would see how long it took for them to deliver the information on any given slide. But I don't think that's a particularly relevant way to use this because any good presenter is going to read the room and present things at different pace um, or deliver more content, more details to certain groups, possibly even leaving the floor open to questions. And in those types of situations, you don't want the presentation to automatically move forward. You want to be in control of whether it moves forward or not. However, if you're going to be in a kiosk mode, by handing this to somebody who doesn't know the information yet, watch what Rehearse Timings does. They click on to Rehearse Timings and the presentation opens, and they see the first slide of the presentation. And in the top left-hand corner, it says, you've been on the slide for seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds, 10 seconds, and you've been in the presentation for that same length of time. Once they feel that they've consumed the information, they can use the forward arrow to move on to the next slide, and the forward arrow to move on to the next slide. And then after they feel like they've consumed that information, again, notice here we're at 30 seconds into the presentation, about 10 seconds on the slide, then they can move forward again and they can see the next piece of information. And then they can 
see the next piece of information. And here's what's important. Because they don't know what's going to be on the slide, they're actually going to read every word and pay attention to what's in here, as opposed to somebody who was already building this information and probably thinks to themselves, yeah, by now the people will get it. But somebody who's never seen this before is just now getting to the word contingencies, and they've been on the slide for 20 seconds now. And so you move forward, and the slide shows up. And again, they read through the entirety of this slide, they figure out what it means, they consume the information that's relevant to them, and then they move forward. And again, another slide shows up, they read the information that's relevant to them. What we can do is we can close this out and it says, okay, your presentation has been going for a minute and seven seconds. Do you want to save the timings? And I click yes, and now you can see that every transition tab, it says after 2.6 seconds, we should move from this slide to the next one. Then after 1.35 seconds, we should move. And then after 13.28 seconds, we should move. Somebody who is building this presentation from scratch has no concept that it would take 13 seconds for somebody to consume this information. Now at this point, you can actually now go to the first slide and say, why don't I bump this up to four? And I can go to the third slide and say, let's bump this up to 15 to give it just a little bit more wiggle room. But at least you now know that this is the amount of time that somebody who hadn't seen the information feels they need to be on that slide in order to consume all the information that's relevant.